Now, has he finally lost his marbles, you'll be saying? What the hell is a briefcase doing on this channel? About electronic bits and pieces and old machinery and that sort of thing. I fired up another piece of electronic garbage a bit earlier on the computer. And uh, V Westlife had sent me a, a film to look at. And, uh, well, I wish you the very best of luck. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, got some smashing films on there so far. And hopefully there's more to come. Absolutely excellent. Anyhow, here we go. Now... I know you think I'm nuts. Well, I am nuts. I'm from Cornwall. Christ, I've got to be nuts. But this is not quite what it seems to be. That is the giveaway. <laughs> and inside here is a little music centre. speakers are inside the lid. There's a whole myriad of controls there. Let's have a look and see what everything does. Medium, shortwave and FM at the top. Your band selector fine tuning the shortwave. Ordinary tuning for everybody else. There's your function selector for radio, record player, or the tape. Yep, that is a variable tone control. Left and right balance and volume. And you can tell this is an oldie because down here is a recording volume control. There's your main switch. Tucked away at the side of it. A very, very, very long telescopic aerial. You ought to be able to pick up the Martians on this. Christ. Power is from the mains, or by the look of it, 6D cells. Which would probably have been uh, known as HP2s when this was new. You have a voltage selector there as well. Uh, you probably can't see, but it says 110 220 or 240 volts. The record player will run at three speeds. There's a headphone plug, stereo out <laughs> jacks, and two plugs for the remote for microphones as well. There. Now this is where you do do the biz with the speakers. So, looks like I'd better go and find some batteries because I don't have a power cord for this and there isn't one in it. So I'll go and dig out some batteries and then we'll have a play around. Anyway, hope you liked it and see you in a while.